Hi all, it's Teresa in Gemma's house. Well, last week I did an acrylic painting that I really love the way it turned out. I did it on a canvas board that was in a frame that I bought at a thrift store. And I bought it for the frame, but then I ended up using the canvas board too. So I didn't know what look I wanted to give to this frame. And all of a sudden, a unexpected idea cropped up. So I went in that direction. So if you want to see how my frame turned out, this is how I did it. So this is my painting in the frame. And as you can see, it's kind of a gray barnwood color. And this is the frame that's right above it. And I thought I would just use these similar colors and paint the frame like this. But I do want to give this painting some more prominence. And this is the wall I'll be hanging it on. I brought the painting into my painting room and I put it on my easel and I thought, oh, look at this. I kind of like this reddish brown to frame it in. So I think I'll do that. So I have parts of this frame to mask off and I have this wide roll of painter's tape. So I just cut all the way down the middle of the tape because I didn't need it to be so wide and no use using more tape than I need to. So I'm just adhering the tape between the upper part of the frame and this lower part and I just make sure to press it down really hard with my thumbnail so that the paint doesn't get underneath the tape. So I'm going to use these acrylic paints. This one is burgundy and this is metallic copper because I put metallic copper on everything. And then this is a uh, dark brown and I'm starting with the dark brown color. I ended up putting two coats of this brown color as a base coat on the frame first. And I'm making sure to paint the underside of this frame too because it does bevel out. And if you're walking past it, you will be able to glance the side of the frame. So next, I'm adding this burgundy color and I'm using these chip brushes because these chip brushes have really stiff bristles and so you can get kind of a striated effect and I don't want a solid coverage for this burgundy. I do want the brown to show through underneath it because you know how real wood has different tones and colors in it. And so I'm just painting kind of lightly over top of the brown. And of course this video is speeded up. I don't paint this fast. So next, I'm adding a little bit of black acrylic paint into this burgundy paint. And again, I'm using the chip brush and I want to create kind of striations with this darker burgundy color. And again, I'm using a light touch as I'm dragging the brush over the frame. So I really like the way it's looking so far. I think it does have kind of a mahogany wood look to it. And this is comparing it to my easel, but I'm not trying to copy the look of the easel wood exactly. So now I want to try something different that I haven't tried before. I'm going to mix a little bit of black paint into this metallic copper paint. And I'm using a soft fan brush because I do want this to have a subtle look to it. And I'm adding water to water it down too. Again, I'm using light pressure when I brush this on. And again, this is my soft fan brush in case you're interested. And I'm using this metallic copper paint because I really want the frame to have a little bit of a shimmer to it. And the metallic paint catches the light really nicely. So here it is. It's looking a little more weathered, a little more antiqued or old. And I like the finish. Again, I didn't want any solid brown or burgundy. And this kind of smooths both of those together. And like I said, adds a little bit of a shimmer. 
So now I have to paint the entire underneath of the frame just to make sure that none of the original frame color shows. So as I'm pulling off this tape, it did adhere really well. I'm pulling it away from the frame very slowly so it doesn't pull any paint off. And it's looking really good. I like how it turned out so far. So to protect the finish of the paint that I already put on, I'm using this Minwax Polyacrylic Top Coat. And this is an ultra flat finish. I'm just putting it on the area that I have painted so far. So now I'm using this metallic paint. This is a deep bronze color. And I like this deep bronze color because it picks up on some of the colors in the frames that will be hanging on the wall above it. And I'm just going to very slowly paint this part of the frame. And I'm just taking my time so I don't get it on the other parts of the frame. I just put PBS NewsHour on the TV and I did get done with this painting before the PBS NewsHour was over, so that wasn't too bad. And then I put a second coat of the Minwax Polyacrylic Varnish on the entire frame for extra protection. So the last step was just to add these frame brackets on the back to hold the canvas against the frame tightly. So I hung it here and I am happy with it. I think the dark wood look of this frame does make it a little more prominent, but it also picks up on some of the colors in the frames above it and in the portrait paintings above it too, they do have some darker colors in them, as well as these two paintings that are on the other wall in the living room. So it kind of balances everything out. So what do you think? Do you like the original gray barn wood look of this frame? Or the mahogany wood look finish that I gave to the frame? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What do you think? So I hope this video gave you some ideas of what you can do with some thrift store frames. New frames are so expensive. So whenever I need a frame, I always look in the thrift store first. And they're made really well, these older ones too. So I just refinish them or usually paint them. And I have several other videos about painting frames if you'd like to watch them. I'll put the links in the description below. Please check out my main Gemma's House channel page because I do a lot of other projects and you might find another video that you're interested in watching. So again, thanks so much for watching and I really do appreciate the viewer support. Bye-bye.